We live. We are live. Just get this up and running. All right, I think we're good. Let me get this over here. And we are disco. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new brand. Well, kind of a newer version of the Jedi Academy here on RSG, the show we do every Saturday morning. And it is a straight Q&A show with all you peeps. Glad to have you guys here on a Saturday morning. I am just getting everything going. We are dual streaming for the first time ever with Jedi Academy. First time we've ever done this. We are on live on Twitch and we are live on YouTube. If you're new to the Jedi Academy, especially on Twitch, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, Jedi Academy is a show. We'll have content creators come on, whoever can come on, and I leave it open to them uh, every Saturday morning. And we're here to answer your questions about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, and so the way it works is, uh, yes, I am double fisting the streams there, Bazinga. That's right. Jason Hobby, what's going on? Good morning, Desi Jingles, Schnarf, Schnarf. Uh, so well, the way it works, if you have a question you want to post to myself or anybody else on the panel, uh, whether on Twitch or YouTube, just put the word question in front of your actual question or comment in our statement and put that in there and we will get that scooped up in the order that they come in. So it, especially now that I'm on Twitch and YouTube, it's really imperative guys. If you have a question, you got to put that word question in front of there. I, I, it helps me tremendously find the questions. Sometimes I catch them, but if I don't, it's not my fault. That's yours. And I ain't going to feel bad about it. Uh, so yeah, get your questions in and that's the format, uh, that do it. So hope everyone's having a good Saturday morning and whether you just got their coffee or if it's afternoon, you're having a nice pint or getting a nice dinner in you, wherever you are out there in the world. Um, so get your questions in. If you are on YouTube, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you like this kind of content that we do, we have tons of content here. We are now starting to dual stream on Twitch and YouTube. And I'm going to start expanding the games that we play doing this format. I have been going through the process of getting everything updated, set up and new video cards and power supplies and breakfast cereals. Jesus H Christ. So uh, for you on Twitch, this is a new experience because we've never done Jedi Academy on Twitch. So welcome to the programming. So good morning, everybody. Now, we also are still raising funds for my costume. Uh, if you would like to see me do a breakfast shoey, it's pretty simple. If you're on Twitch, just hit the donation button or go exclamation PayPal. That'll take you straight to the to the PayPal for RG and uh, just throw a swevin in there and I will do a breakfast shoey. And breakfast shoeys goes toward the, cost, the, the costume. We're about 50% of what we need to raise. So halfway there. Uh, and I will get the spear and the two stuff for the wrist guards. And that costume will be done and some paint, but I mean, I've eh. been working on the helmet and the chest piece this week. So it's like, mm hmm. So good morning, Jedi Rules to say from San Diego. Good morning to What Else 73 says, Good morning, beautiful people. Yep. Um, yep, it is good. It is a it's a birthday weekend for our girl, Desi Jingle. Schnarf, 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 schnarf. So yeah, I had fun a little bit last night. We we streamed for about just over an hour yesterday. I mean, it's Conquest. I mean, Friday was there. You know, it's... You know, what are you going to do? I mean, it's Friday, the NCAA tournament was going on. And it's just like, okay, we'll stream for a little bit, get Conquest going on, get these Datacrons rolled. We did roll Keller and Beck's Datacron yesterday. I will be rolling some more this weekend to try to go into... Uh, the GAC for next week with as many data crowns. So far we have Ray, we have Sidious and we have uh, Keller and Beck. Uh, hopefully to have more as come that time comes on. So yeah. And if you do go uh, Shuey, I forgot to mention this, whether it's on Twitch or YouTube, if you want to see me do a breath of Shuey and help me with the costume, just make sure you go clink, clink in the chat. We'll verify it. Not that I don't trust you guys, but I don't trust you guys. Uh, so there you go. And so, yeah, get your questions in. I know it's, we're just getting things started. But yes, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, we're dual streaming on both those platforms right now. The, remember the format. Question in front of your question, comment, or statement. Or I ain't going to catch it most likely. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, why are you not a mod on YouTube? Because I haven't had the time to do it. It's a little bit different on YouTube, Jedi Rolls. I'll get to it eventually, brother. <laughs> it's a little bit different pro little bit different process there for that. And, uh, oh, did we have someone join? Oh, we did. Oh, Nev. And he, and he left. Okay. He, I'll, I'll, I'll welcome him in when he gets over here. Depressed Wampa, what's going on, brother? Good morning. Happy Saturday to you. 
Um, so yeah, we did a little bit of conquest last night. The data crons are coming along nicely. As I should said, we should have at least five of the eight that we're going for right now done by this weekend, going into Monday, Tuesday, maybe more. So that's really good. That's super duper good. Yeah. What, what else? 73 hit on the head. Jedi rolls. It's a pain in the ass. I have to go through this process of doing it and I don't feel like doing it. Right now. It's like, yeah, no. Very extra, very, very extra, so super extra. So yeah, make sure you hit the thumbs up, all that stuff on YouTube, Twitch, and you know the deal. So let's have some fun. Get your questions in. You've got me for a little bit. And then, um, yeah, and then uh, I will be doing D&D &D &D tonight, but it's going to be about 30 minutes late on that uh, for them starting because uh, I got some birthday stuff to do today, but I'm going to be focused on. So yeah, keep giving your greetings. Yep, everybody wish uh, Desi, a, our, the very sexy, the very toy, Desi, uh, a happy birthday, their birthday weekend. So if you want to wish her a happy birthday, please do. That'd be much, very much appreciated. Happy birthday, Mrs. President. Feel free to get some birthday love in there. Desi Jingle, schnarf, schnarf. He's a schnarfy schnarf. Schnarf, schnarf, Desi, jingle, schnarf, schnarf. All right, when the Nev gets his monkey ass back, then, uh... Yes, yes. Yes, good, good. Good. Uh, Desi, Jedi rules, trying to say hi to you. Yeah, and she did say hi to you already, De depressed, uh, their, uh, Jedi rules. Birthday again. <laughs> good morning. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. So, yeah, get your questions in, anything like that. Any shoeies to help with the costume? Let me know because I will take Foster's port in a beautiful shoe provided by the birthday girl, Desi Jingle Snarf Snarf. And I will drink it. I'll be very sad. Uh, you know. Oh, there you go. In YouTube, there's the link to the PayPal. There you go. Perfect. Good. Carl Kopich, what's going on, brother? For our first, uh, our first question of the day it says, uh, "Good morning. Has anyone killed the end Queen Amidala with a non GL yet? I'm hearing it, it's only doable with the GL. Um, not yet. I I completed it this morning. Now I went in there with the Bow Mandalore team. Um, I didn't die, but I couldn't cl clear clean uh, kill them fast enough. So I don't know, like." what in the hell we are supposed to do with that i'm gonna look at it some more um i haven't figured it out yet i did that this uh this morning because i didn't have the teams yesterday i was like how the hell am i gonna because I, I went there with bow mandalore i killed two of them i just couldn't get I just they kept getting health and protection i couldn't kill them and i was like what in hell shit is this so yeah Basically, the the gist of the story is I blame Finn, um, but I did win in. The, I went in there with Kenobi and Bo Katan and um, beat beat it that way and got the feet from uh, Bo easily enough with that. But uh, yeah, the Sector Five Queen battle is BS. If anybody does know a strat for a non GL, let me know because I ain't found it yet. Um, because every time, if you go in there with all your teams, every call, they just, it's a pain in the ass team. I was thinking maybe the Inquisitors, but after watching it and what happened to Bo, I mean, the, the, they couldn't kill my team. But in return, I couldn't kill their team. Like, they just take too many goddamn turns. It's like... Yeah, DH, I went in there and I I kept the um, Death Helm on, on, on Twitch just saying I can't even beat it with a GL or at least JMK. Yeah, what I did with JMK and I put Bo in there so I didn't have a fifth GR, but it didn't really matter. I kept the uh, d the DI on uh, Kenobi and just waited for my opportunity. And as soon as I got that opportunity, I took out Padme and the team died. So you just have to be a little patient with it because I figured that that was going to be the case because of all the taunts and stuff like that. Um, just waited till I got to alt. And then as soon as I was had the opportunity, he's like, sent old uh, Cat uh, on, on Padme and, and cleared it. But it is BS. Pat, what's going on? It says, you wrote Rogue One for second feet versus Amadella. All right, I'll try Rogue One. I do have the team, so we'll see if that works. 
Uh, plus the reduce your team serum every turn, cleanse five times for every turn. You take it's just dumb. Yeah, they just overclocked it like they normally do. They didn't test it, and this is what we're left with. Yeah, we I think I see gas five oh first doing it, but yeah. And then and I did use consumables, but I mean it's it's just one of those things where you're just like uh -huh. So we'll we'll cover it Monday. We'll we'll cover it Monday for everybody. So we'll we'll get that done. But yeah, the sector five stuff is I mean, all the other feats are fine, but I mean that one is just straight up horse shit. But we'll try some stuff here for you guys and get it done. I'm mainly just in cleanup mode. I'm mainly in just datacron mode, so <laughs> mm, I got datacrons to do. You know what I'm saying? I got some datacrons to do. Um a lot of datacrons. Yes, it's like potato. So yeah. All right, keep your questions coming in. Keep all that good stuff coming in on YouTube and Twitch. We're dual streaming today, baby. Again, if you want me to do a clink clink in the drink drink, uh, make sure you're for breakfast shoeys. We're halfway to our goal of finishing up that costume finally, and we've got a lot of potential good stuff we could do this year. So using quizzers with Watt and Bow and certain discs. Okay, we'll we'll give it a try on Monday. One one way or the other. All right, who else has joined us? Nav did, but then he left. So we have an empty chair from Nav. Oh, me Welling Cannoneer be here. Carthaginicus. Har Carthaginicus. What is Carthaginicus? What the fuck is happening today? Carth is here, but he's not talking. Nav showed up, but left. So they're there, there, but they're not really there, there. You know what I'm saying? Bazinga says, breakfast shoeing, glad you're so eager. I mean, all I can do is just put it out there, brother. You know what I'm saying? So if someone wants to do it, yeah, I mean, I got to raise funds. So I don't want to do shoeies, but I know you guys enjoy seeing me suffer. And you also, it's for charities stuff. So, you know, yeah. So eventually Karth will talk and Nev will talk. Even though they're here, but they're not talking. the hell is happening <sighs> all right at cobra cats what's going on brothers this question if sector three boss is a preview of the new beret will the new Nubu raid disappoint you no because i don't give a shit anymore like i'm not like after the endor raid and the way they're setting up this raid it's like what do I got to do? What do I got to work on? Set this up so I can do the, the, the potential damage that I need to for the guild. Uh, at this point, I don't care that they're giving us a good raid. I mean, it's, what do I need to get the rewards? For me, I'm just in reward mode. You know? Oh, there's Karth. Karth, are you able to talky now? Oh, I, I yeah. I was able to talk the whole time. I just You weren't talking the, the whole time. Oh, okay. You did I left nav. the room. You did a nav. Okay. I was, I was joining, and then I went and got coffee. That's right. You need coffee. Uh, Kage, Kazakagi, but it's too easy. says, I'm here. We're glad you're here, my friend. Yeah, we talk about the Sector 5 bullshit in the upcoming raid there, Karth. I'm sure you heard all that. So, any thoughts? Sector 5? Yeah, mm. the boss fight in Sector 5 and Conquest, the Amidala Yeah, with, fight. Pat, with Amidala. Yeah. yeah such a tri <laughs> what a crock of shit, man. Oh, my <clears> God. Yeah, I... If you just do an instant defeat, and then you can just kill her. Yeah, you have to set it up. I was just telling Death Helm. I went in there with uh, Bo-Katan and GR, and, and I just waited patiently. I kept the DI on uh, Kenobi. Yeah. Waited to get to ultimate so then I could target her when she got out of stealth, and then it was like death, and then it was easy from there. But I did go in there with yeah. Bo-Katan Mandalorians. I know. And no. Yeah, it's, did nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, the um, the um that fight is just like, if you have some form of instant defeat, which you've got on like Jedi Knight Cal, yeah. or you've got on a couple other options, you can... You can get around it. It's fine. It's doable. You know. Yeah. So. And then yeah. we were talking about the new yeah. raid. Are we excited for it? I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, it's a new raid. It's good. If it's anything like Naboo, the fight is right now. It's like, okay. You know, yeah, my thing is, I was just saying, we're just looking at, okay, what do we got to have? And what do we got to do to get the crates cut for more gear so we can go do fun, yeah. more fun at stuff? At least the, the factions are better on this go around. Yeah. Because, well, the factions are pulling from, I'll be, I'll be more specific, because they're good. They're still good characters. I feel like the Endor raid, the hard part to swallow for a lot of people was either the trash tier rebels they made us gear up. Yeah. Or the Ewok faction as a whole. It's like, yeah. okay, well, no. <laughs> 
So I, I really hope we're not rewriting kits again. And I really hope um, that it's not like RNG, like, like basically I don't want to see the RNG factors of like the crate dragon raid come back of like, Oh, well, if you get it perfect one out of five runs, then you get max score. But if you don't, then you get shit score. It's like, Oh, well, yay. Well, I'm just but glad I, I, and if you haven't seen the, the latest uh, video that we did on um, the rate efficiency, please check it out. I've been doing the last couple of raids. I'm getting 14, five to 14, six. Um, it, it works. Yeah. You don't have to remod other than Leia and which is a pain in the ass, but you know what? You know, it's, it's worth it's it. moving. It's moving six mods versus, you know, 60. So yeah, I, I think for, for one character, it's not the end of the world for the entire raid, unless you use a system like hot utils where you just reapply your mods when you've done making a mess, then a little different, but hello. Yeah, Sa not... Saints two one zero four says, Hey, uh, Hey, now you're a rock star. Uh, cause the Kazakai says, I hate my roster. I have no Tuscans with lightsabers. I'm sorry. Neil Venom over on Twitch is here. Hey Saints, how are you? We're hope we're doing well. Glad to have you here. Neil Venom right. says, Hello, Ranger. Ranger, I think I have a problem. Is there such a thing as Star Wars Lego Anonymous? I built the two sets last night. And I'm already wanting some more. Yeah, brother, I can't help you. <laughs> the first step in in, in, in it, it, with a problem is that that you admit that you have a problem. The second step is to seek help. The third step is to make profit. All right. Um, all right. We're, uh, so, Karth, if you've seen this, we're dual streaming. We're dual streaming. Yeah, I music. just noticed, like, YouTube we're like, oh, and over Twitch. On Twitch. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I got to pull both jets now. That's right, <laughs> man. And make sure you guys that are on YouTube, it really helps with the algorithm. Hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Um, so, do that. That's the simplest thing you can do. And if you haven't followed us over here, you know, hit the heart button on Twitch and you know, if you have prime and you love this content on, on Twitch, you can use your, you can use your prime sub to sub for free over here. It's great. So if you haven't done that, feel free. Uh, now, if you guys have questions, put those in the chat for myself, Karth and the nav, when he comes back, I'm sure we'll get some more content creators here and stuff. Uh, but if you have a question, <laughs> make sure you put the word question for any actual question, comment, or statement, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, it helps me identify questions easier because especially now that I have two platforms that I'm looking at, I've got two chats. Go so if you want a question responded to your best bet is to put the word question there. And then last but not least, if you'd like to help me, we I'm doing some stuff for ACS and some other pimping stuff for RSG. Uh, if you'd like to have me do a shoey, just go clink, clink, and then just put a swevin, swevin dollars into the, um, the tip jar and that will go toward uh the full mando costume that i've got up and running uh red devil sweating swevin says good morning 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 there bud oh yeah there bud that's a good morning there eh? uh thanks says how many attempts at clash on community are you allowed before it's it's legal to throw your phone against the wall you should never throw your phone against the wall because of a game however clash on camino that's the um that's the gas event, isn't it? Yeah. Uh Saints, uh I'm gonna say never because if your boy Ranger went 18 hours straight of doing it that event <laughs> and I didn't throw my phone, then you can't either. It's really RNG, and the higher you have your relics, the less RNG it is on that that event. But if you're going in there with gear 12 and stuff, I mean, yeah, it's it's a bit that is the worst event in the game. Like hands down, I don't think you get any argument for people that have been through it. Um, gas events, especially the tier four, like this, the tier two fight is somewhat manageable. It's a little bit, it's definitely RNG, but you can, can manipulate it. But the tier four fight is such diarrhea, brother. I I wish I had a good strategy or plan. It's just gear and mods to lessen the RNG. But even then, yeah, it's still gotta, RNG. Yeah. Yeah, once you get up to relics, it's it's more tolerable. But yeah, I know that's for a lot of players. It's a bit of a stride. So I feel you. Same says Massage is gear thirteen. B one or B one and B two. B one and Droidico relic three. IG is still is just relic zero, and B two is gear twelve. Yeah, it's RNG. It's all it is. You just have to keep doing it again and again and again and again. And there's just you just have to get the right RNG. 
unless you take those characters up to like three to five, then the fight gets less RNG and you're able, you still need some RNG, but it's much more manageable, especially if you have 60 or higher mods on your characters. But I went in there the, like a while ago with my Relic 7, 8 <laughs> gas team and I was like, Jesus, it still sucks. Like, oh my God, <laughs> this is horrible. It's just an RNG fest, brother, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, oh, look who it is. Hello, Governor. You're finally back. Oh, boy. The Nev there. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I, I fired up the, uh, I fired up the Zoom and instantly had to go get between the step kids. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, listen here, don't make me get Uncle Ranger in here. He'll kick your ass. Yeah, Saints, I know for the tier four fight, having, uh, what was it? Certain speed on Droidica. And damage, you want damage on him. B2, you, and uh, you want to make, not for potency, but for survival. Um, so you want to go really survival on him on that event. Same thing with um, Massage, very tanky on uh, your tank. And then, yeah, just pray. <laughs> That's all you can do. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Uh, we're here. We're doing a Jedi, Jedi rules question for, for, for our Legoland master it says, when are we getting a new character? Since we got nothing this past week, this week, they just took Next a, week, yeah. yeah. I thought they were on a two week cycle, but they're taking a, a week in between. So yeah. Oh, it's, it's probably just because of the cow of it. They didn't want to have, yeah. they CG likes to, to separate big spending events. And so, like, that's why marquees are almost always two weeks apart, so that you get enough break in between to have some sort of cash regeneration for people who do spend. So, uh, yeah, that's more or less why you always see that break. So, with Genite Cal coming back and the, just the plethora of packs we've had for the March Madness thing, yeah, uh, yeah it's going to be, it'll be next week. Good morning, Kimmy. Hit me, Kimmy, one more time. This morning, excuse, excuse, how much did I miss? And happy birthday, Desi. Yep. It's your birthday wishes for Desi. Jingle, schnarf, schnarf. Uh, Kazakage, Ranger, help me with Clash on Camino and Malak event. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Malak event is just, it, that's much easier. Uh, that's yeah. just manipulating the first, you know, there's two, there's four of those, the, of the people there you want to manipulate. So you get the crit damage one to go first, because then you can't crit him anymore. And that helps you get the damage in and then get your stacks and maintaining them. That one's not that hard. Gas is just straight bullshit. Gas is just like, you have to get like crazy RNG to beat it. And it is completely frustrating. Malik, if you manipulate just it right, you tons of it. Ton, tons of relic investment. I, Come on. I was about to say, yeah, I I I mean I did I, I didn't mess around with that one. I just took everybody to relic three with one exception. And I think that was A V or Ahsoka, one of those two were just a gear twelve and I just breezed through it. Yeah, I was everybody at gear, everybody at relic three. <laughs> yeah, but it's just still yeah. it's oh my god. It's, oh, don't get me wrong. I yeah. saw how I saw the people try to do it with like the low gear. I watched you do it. I mean, it was painful. Um, phases two and four, you were like constantly pulling your hair out the first time. It was it what was, hair? What yeah, hair does he yeah, have? Like, well, exactly. <laughs> he pulled it all out. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's just I mean, I, I didn't see you. I didn't see. I had not seen you that irate with um um with an event since the powerpoint. Yeah, and the thing is, the tier two one is much more easier to, and the gas event is easier easier to manipulate. It's just the turn order. If you get that yeah. right, then you're fine. If you get the right RNG, then you pull it off. But the gas one, it's all about relics and mods, and and um, it's all about the gear. It's a gear check and a mod check because, and even then, it's still RNG, but way less of a hassle if you have your characters three to five than say, you know, gear twelve. Um, yeah. You're more survival. You're able to take the hits. You're not relying on certain things missing or hitting or landing and stuff because your stats are much improved. So you're landing the debuffs and things of that nature that you need to do. So, yeah, I mean, the only thing I could tell you guys, if you're going to do the gas event, don't fuck around with it. Just If you want to be miserable and try to get RNG and spend 18 hours like me doing it, because the Illuminati is watching from CG, then yes. But if not, every, then... yeah, I mean, just to, to tell it, I mean, every character that you need for the event that you relic up, you need in the future anyway. There's nothing in there that's useless. Yeah, it's all good. There's, yeah. no, it's, there's nothing in that. So, you know, you take all of them to Relic 3. You know, it'll work. 
it, 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 it'll, you'll be able to do all four phases. One, two, three, four, if you've got them all relic. And all those characters need to be relic for future game, for future use in the game. So, yeah. 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 Yeah, Kazakagi, the Thrawn event was trash too, but no, there's been some events in the past that have just given us all the vapes. That's all I got to say about that. Just relic nine everything. Right. It's, if you're, if you're yes, if you're it's Karth, then it's easy. Yeah. Okay. Carl yeah. Kopich question. I just unlocked TTMG. Hoping to use him in 3v3. What team comp is best? Moff Gideon plus Scout. And what is the Kron for him that makes him OP? Well, the Kron is uh, the uh, last set. It's the. It's the DTMG level nine yeah. and then the 400% offense. Yeah. So, um, Kron. And then you run DTMG, um, OG Moff Gideon, and Scout Trooper. Yeah. Uh, it's the Unwavering Courage, and you do want the, the level nine. I mean, you if you don't have it, it's he's still decent, but that level nine is just. Yeah. Absurd. It's it's just a bigger threat because Dark Trooper stats scale off of. Yeah. Um, off of Moff Gideon's or DTMG's, and it he hits hard. So hard, he hits super hard. But yeah, you yeah. if you can get it the level three, you want the uh, doubt. Level six, you want the four hundred percent flip the to yeah the current defense, and then the level nine is just for him specifically. Um, so yeah, but that last set only had a few level nines that I really thought were were to go for right. This new set, man, I'm busting my ass. So far, we've got Sidious, Ray, and Keller and Beck, but I'm I'm rolling another Jedi one because it's like, let's see, I need the four Jedi ones, the two Resistance one, the two, the, uh, maybe three Resistance with Finn for the Zori team, and then I'm like, okay, and then I need, I need Bane. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, yeah. the level nines are where it's at on this set. Gee, this, it's like God Almighty. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Level six and level nine, because if you're gonna have the Jedi one, we got it last night. Uh, you want that hundred percent switch, um, but I got that. Uh, if you the two that you can go for, if Jedi allies can't be when they defeat somebody can't be revived, that's gonna be really nice for the Jedi team. Um, and then you know the other one is that hundred percent, you know, uh, bonus that they get hundred percent more damage when they're at hundred percent health. Yeah, so you definitely yeah. want that. But either one of those will be fine at level six. The other ones are trash. Um, and then Empire, I, I got a really nice Star Sidious one. Um, so at the level six, I got they can ignore taunt. Um, and they also do max damage, which is really, really nice for Sidious. So don't worry too much about the level threes, but the level sixes and the nines are going to be that were last said it was the level three and sixes that you wanted more than the nines outside those specific characters. So they kind of flipped the script on these uh, data crons this time. It's like, Shit. And I have nine data at level nine to go for. Guess what I'll be doing this weekend? Farming materials. Cause I got a long wait mm -hmm. to go. Smashing that send button. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been up, uh, dude. This is the first time I've done fifties and hundreds in a long time, brother. So, um, no, I'm not simming everything because there are feats. I still need to get the red crate, of course, but oh, I, I literally did all the way up to chapter four on day one, and I don't, I haven't touched anything besides simming conquest since. Yeah, for me, I've, I've, I'm just kind of knocking out stuff as I go along because I don't want to last minute, yeah. you know. So, um, I'll go into sector four because I still have stuff to do there, and just you know, run the GR team, yeah. run this team, and get feats knocked out at the same time that I'm doing the other stuff. So we're through sector five. We we've been there, but it's now it's just going back yeah. and cleaning up, and I'm trying to be efficient with it, where it's like clean up and get stuff. So I can roll and do other things, so it's not too bad. Uh, Depress Wampa question. Hey, Karth, I have a mod question. I'm building Maul, oh. and most use protection primaries, but you use health. I try to follow your Mars, so would you would so would share your thoughts? Thanks. For we're talking about Maul, Maul, Maul. Yeah. So the reason why a lot of people mod him for protection is because of Lord Vader leadership. Um, because he has slightly more protection than he has uh, max health, and then you get more, um, it's easier to get more protection modifiers than it is to get um, uh, health. Yes. Um, so most will run protection for that purpose of putting him under Lord Vader. 
I tend to run him with Maul Mandos. And so he gets max health and the leadership. So I'm just pushing that further because his health heal his health pool is more important when he's under Maul Mandos, because that's how he gets the damage is from his seeding rage stacks damaging him. So the bigger your health pool, the more offense you gain off of that. So basically that's the whole reason why I mod him for health is because the majority of the time he's running Maul Mandos. Some of the time he runs with Lord Vader, but it's it's not optimized to be with Lord Vader team, but it's not going to hurt you to no. run with Lord Vader team. It just means that like if you're going to go against a very close counter like Lord Vader versus JMK, especially with the current Kron set, um, you know that would be probably a real a, a risk to run. But outside of that, I think um, it's not really going to change how you fight things. No, so. I mean Maul's kind of like SKR okay, for me. We, I had actually somebody asked me that last night about how I, you know, why I have so much speed on Maul. I just like a fast Maul. There's two ways you can run Maul. You can go offense set and you need to be a 300 to 310 speed on him if you're going to go max damage. I prefer mm -hmm. having him like 350 speed so he just gets loose because the sooner that Darth Maul is going, or it's not Darth Maul's going, the the better it is for you because he start, he gets that turn, he's got his buffs, and then he's ready to start laying pain. Um, yes, I have less damage on him, but it doesn't matter because he ramps, you know, it's yeah. like, it, it, so there's, there's different ways you can do it. The car's point is, is, is spot on. So. Darth Maul. And then Nav hasn't put any mods on Maul. I've got, <laughs> I've got mods on Maul. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're lying. No, I, I no, no, no. The Nav does not lie. Um. He, he misrepresents, he obfuscates by Mandalorian. And where is my mall? There, see, there's my mall. Well, Ranger into intentionally looking away from the screen right now so that he cannot confirm. Yeah, or I can deny. confirm or deny what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> uh, potency and defense. It looks like there's mods on him, but. <laughs> there's know. mods on him. <laughs> yes, there is. There are mods on him. It looks like there's mods, but I don't know. Okay, I'm just messing with you. All right, uh, <laughs> Johnny Mo, my fellow D and Dear. I haven't put it in Discord yet, but I will put it in there, Johnny. I'm going to be about 30 minutes late tonight for D and D, just because I have a birthday celebration and stuff going on. So, but I will be there around eight o'clock. But I'll put that in there when I get a chance. I had to get some final verification on some stuff for this thing today. And I'm like, okay, a little late, a little, little late, but uh, we're going to get our D&D &D in. Johnny Mo, three tea leaf in our D&D &D campaign. Says, good morning, guys. I have uh, I have my light side mandos at Relic 7. Do they need to be higher? The only one that I took higher just because she's a fucking monster is Bo. Like, Relic 8 is perfect for Bo. That just extra stats and damage. I mean, she's already, she's fine at Relic 7, but I found at Relic 8... She just nukes, dude. I have you. You won't go wrong by taking Bo to Relic Eight. Now, outside of that, if they're Relic Seven, they work great because Bo's doing all the work, right? But even uh, IG Twelve and and uh, Pre Vizsla, I mean, he he's he's fine, man. Because it's so hard to get through their health and protection already. So that that combination is fine at Relic Seven, especially if you, if you have a mod them correctly. Mods do matter, but Bo. She's one of those characters, man. I love playing. She's so great. You just, in Relic 8, I'm just like, who do I kill with her? It's not a matter of like, you know, like I have heads. Yeah, there's, Especially there's a this, few teams that she'll struggle with. Um, but yeah, in GAC, but, she's got a lot of a lot of benefits now. Especially that the cat, no revive, Kron is gone. Um, it'll give you a little bit more flexibility with Paz not being gone gone when you use him so she yeah but right now just with how she's set up with her um with her cron just it's like anybody who puts lord vader on defense i'm just like oh thanks i'm I'll doing take. that on purpose because it's like well if they use she, if they use her there she isn't available anywhere else I start thinking yeah, about that kind of stuff because it's like it's just so it's so efficient. That's the reason why I quit doing it was because it's so easy to score like damn near max banners versus Lord Vader, and so it's just like 
I don't mind baiting out teams, but I don't like baiting out, like giving free max banners. It's just, I, I don't mind it so much. It's kind of like Leia. I put her on defense. It's kind of like, I know you're going to use Java there. Don't even fuck around. I know you're using it. So, but you don't have I don't, that. I, I don't know if Java's going to carry versus Leia anymore. No, we'll have to. We'll have to rethink no. our strategies on 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 some stuff. We'll, we'll talk about more. it on Monday or Tuesday when we talk about GAC. But really, we're getting to three, so. Oh my god! Hey, it's, uh, threes is the is like the first week of where I just go. Hey, you don't care. G GAC is back. Ah, one battle. Okay, cool. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it's just one of those things. Uh, Johnny Mo with a follow up question: How would you mod the, the light side manas? What's the what's the best team for them? Um, you can run them. Karth, keep me honest here on this. Um, Bo, IG, and and Vizsla are 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 have to be on the team. Right. But then the other two, you can kind of mix and match. You can go the other Bo Katan and armor. You can throw Bam in there. That's not a bad option. I don't like that right now, especially with five, because you can put Bam on a dash team or somewhere else with his Kron right now. So you really don't want him on there, but he's not a bad option. Or if you want to save him for like a bounty hunter team. So I usually, it's easy for me. I've been using regular Bo and, um, armor as the other two for that team and it it just right armor shreds are flying all over the place with bow in there you get the additional stats and things of that nature it's just really really tanky and nasty you've got two power hit hitters and once you get ignis on bo katan you're dunzy dude like you can't do shit to her she's just going to get angrier and angrier and if you take out anybody else she's going to slap the shit out of somebody he's a very angry ginger um Outside of that, outside now for modding, uh, bow is offense, right? Um, so yeah, bow straight damage. I've got offense and a defense set on her, and um, her damage right now is around eleven seven. I still have a few more slices to do to get around twelve. Just haven't had a chance to do that yet. Uh, what do I? What do we have on the other two? I mean, armor is pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, it, uh, when the Bam Kron goes away, then you'll have to drop armor or, or OG bow out of the team. Sure, I'd, I'd probably um, do OG bow. I mean, I mean, honestly, I would probably just end up dropping armor. I like I like her kit offensively, but the fact that you get another scoundrel and then you get um, that hundred sure. percent protection increase with OG bow being there, it's like. Mm, it, it, if 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 the clause for Bo Katan's basic wasn't that it was only on her turn she granted all allies speed up whenever she used it, then I would go with um, with uh, the armor. But since that's only on her on her turn, it's and you want her to go kind of last, <laughs> so it's like eh, boo. So no. I like having. Yeah, for the pads, it's heavy protection, potency, health sets. Um, I've got a yeah. more slice of deal. I want to get him around 300 speed, and then he'll be done. And then IG-12, I mean, he's a, just survival, right? It's uh, what I got on him. He wants to be fast and, and yeah, tons of fast. max health. Yeah, I got him, I've got him ideally between, what, 310 and 320 is what you want on him. Um, tons of health. Uh, I've got a tenacity set and um, health set I'm running on him right now. Getting a little bit more slicing to do on him. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you're looking for for those characters. Uh, between 310 and 320 on him with survivability, big tank protection on pads with some potency because you do want that fire landing. And then Bo is straight up. Jasmine. Offense. Okay. No, her name's Bo, not Jasmine. Oh, there you were talking to yeah. Okay, you were talking to new yeah. character leak. Yeah, yeah, character yeah. leak right there. Jasmine Nev, mm -hmm. the new Sith from Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. And then uh, hello, Tom Blow Dry, the man with the best friend of the business over on Twitch. Says hello there, Ranger Karth, Nevs, and Skewers. Skull Jal. Glad to have you here, Tom Blow. Uh, guys, a reminder: we are streaming live on YouTube and Twitch. If you're on YouTube, hit that thumbs up. If you're on Twitch, just hit that heart button. Get your questions in. If you have questions, pop the word question for any actual question, comment, and or statement. Uh, and we'll keep rocking and rolling. So good morning to everybody. Good morning. Get your coffee. 
uh, get your croissants, get your breakfast cereals, whatever it is. Maybe it's a late afternoon. You're just getting ready to have a nice cool pint on a Saturday or a drinky drinky. So whatever makes you happy. Uh, what else do we have? Any questions? Oh, we're, we're caught up on questions right now. So there we go. Um, I miss any hellos. I think I've said hello to everybody. You keep your questions coming in. Nev is dealing with the chitlins. Yeah, you can hear him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dealing with the kitties. Just, just warn mm. them, Uncle Ranger's there. Don't make Uncle Ranger ha angry. I don't want to uh, Uncle Unky Ranger ooh, going. Ooh. I, I got, I got um, JKZK and Relic Tim. What, what team? Jedi Knight Calcasters. Yeah, Cal yeah, Jedi Knight Calcasters. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he, um, I know he goes with JML, but what? who are the other three? G you, Janine Hoda. Tip, so JK, typically. Ari, JK Allen. Yeah, that's typically going to be the, the team if you want to like beat every GL. Yeah. Um, that you want to run because you need the all the kits to kind of just keep things kicking. Um, otherwise, uh, what's fairly common is like taking Bass to the lead, Old Republic with Calcastus. Um, that's a very common one in threes is to take uh, Bass to the lead, Calcastus, and then a okay, Jedi tank. tank. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can usually beat quite a few things um, with that lineup. Outside of that, um, he lives under JML for the most part because, especially with the Jedi Kron coming back and all this protection, you're going to be able going just to just rake. Yeah, he's going to just go into his dual wielding stance, which allows him to hit under protection when he's attacking out of turn. And then you just coin onto him and watch him murder, murder. the entire battlefield. Yeah, hmm. he just he's sick. He's, that, he's another one I recommend at Relegate. He hits bloody effing hard, man. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, yeah, he's another offensive modded character. So uh, offensive mod, get him hitting hard because as, his, as Garth rightly pointed out, he will hurt you. Yes, yes. He I've, will hurt you very badly. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got, I've got him modded for offense. Hey, Big O, what's going on? Says High Skewers. Question, what is the situation with the Resistance Cron? Well, there's three that you should be going for. Uh, your first priority should be the whole he's talking bug. about the bug. Oh, is there a bug? I didn't know that. Yeah. What bug is there? Well, the the first bug with it was the... I know about um, the Dooku one, but I, know about, I didn't hear about this. The The first bug with the Resistance Cron was the that... With level six, if the character spell below 100% health in a mm -hmm. fight and then you lost, when the fight started again, you could not kill them until they got back to 100% health and oh, then fell no. back below. So they That's fixed pretty... that bug. Ugh. And now there's another one. Well, I haven't read the forms this morning, Big O. Damn it. I mean, it was a couple days ago, but that's all I right. I didn't read that shit. I was reading the other stuff. I was being bombarded with other crap. No, the um, the other one, I'm trying to remember what part of it, because it's, it's still broken, but it's a different part that's broken now. So it's like certain things are making like Holdo unkillable, and then there are certain things that are... It's like... There, there's just, uh, there's a few things that it just makes it really hard. I'm trying to remember all the bits and pieces. Of, there, there are multiple parts of the uh, well of it that are. Hopefully, they fix correctly. it by Tuesday because or Wednesday because we don't want. They, that they said they will. They'll fix it. Well, the they day, can say that but, all they want. Proof is in the pudding. I, I'll believe it when no, it no, happens. No, 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 no. It will not be fixed by the first round attack. Well, then how do you have a first round the, attack if that's what's going on? Well, you'll find out. I don't know. That's ridiculous. I don't know but the, well, they've already said that they basically just said that we we're not going to update it before then. So your That's first what? attack. Yeah, they they came out and said that. They just said that we're not going to we're going to. What is wrong with update. you, CG? But the, I it's not as game breaking as the previous one, but the, it is going to be. It will cut catch some people out. But I mean, oh, it's going to be one. One round of GAC, so eh. Well, the Holocron, that one's fixed then. The the level six is fixed. 
which is the the hundred percent. They don't have to be back at hundred percent health. Okay. They just have to be below a hundred percent. So that one's fixed. Um, but I don't know the other ones. There's just a lot of nuance as to what's broken, and I'm trying to remember because I did read it through on Soga events at one point with all the people talking about the different stuff that was broken. But right. I don't remember. Fantastical. So it just so the the fix will go out Wednesday morning, which will be the tail end of round. No, hold on. Yeah, because with no, the, yeah, because the fight starts Wednesday and ends Thursday. And then you have the break; it starts Friday. So it'll it'll be sorry. No, let me re- revert that. They because we don't fight until Wednesday. So the, we should have the update out by the time round one goes live. Okay, I was thinking okay. that I was thinking the start of GAC, which starts on Tuesday, but it doesn't, it, it shouldn't impact the fights. Okay, good. This is what you were putting. I'm like, wait, how the hell are we going to have GAC? No, I was, I was trying to wrap like my head around. Yeah, I was thinking it was just the. Well, I apologize, the CG it. then. Well, that's if they get it fixed. <laughs> All of it fixed. Yeah. We'll we'll see if they fix it or if it, or if something else breaks in the process. Oh god, God Almighty! Jedi Rules Ranger, I just finished the new Resistance ship to seven stars last night. Oh good, good. I wish Jedi it was. Rules. I wish it was better. I mean, if you got a malevolence fleet, go have fun. But outside of that, just clean up. <laughs> oh man. Even with the comeuppance, it's like okay, it can, it can take it take out uh, you know the malevolence pretty solidly, but clean up. That's all it's there for. Clean up. Well, it's just it just makes me think that at some point this year they're expanding that GAC board because they've just been it's like otherwise, why are we keeping on building out fleets? Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna get an expansion once they get the next fleet up and running. Got to because we'll have Yeah, I think I think after Jar Jar drops. Well, I mean, if we're on track for another another like uh journey guide capital ship, then then we have to expand the board because that's going to be, you'll have four journey guide capital ships. You'll have two TB capital ships. You'll have um, the original five, right? Mm-hmm. So, and then you got the two from, yeah. So it's just, they're going to be so many that you can easily add four. And oh then my have God, a- we're getting raided. Spartan, but it's easy, says uh, I'm coming in with a party of nine. All right, Karth, Nav, unlock S4, I'll assume attack position. We're going in. We're going in full throttle. That'll keep that Spartan bastard off our ass. He says, oh, hi. Hey, buddy, we're doing Jedi Academy. And we're live on Twitch and YouTube. So we're getting both of those things. Sorry, Karth, I didn't interrupt you, but a raid is a raid, and a raid is a raid. And we just had Darth Spunk emoji us. That's right. That's right. Hello, everybody. Jedi Academy. That's right. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, expansion. Then I, I rudely interrupted Karth. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I just I just think it's what's it's on the ticket. Yeah, yeah, it's it's coming down the pipe. Hello, Raiders. Welcome to the Jedi Academy. This is a long time running show. We're on episode 325. For the longest time, I've only ever done this on YouTube, but now that we are dual platform streaming, I've now on live on YouTube and the Twitch. So welcome all you Twitch guys. The way it works, we have panelists here. You've got myself, Karthrick, and Nav. We'll see whoever else wants to show up. Um, and if you have a question, put that in chat. Make sure you put the word question in front of your actual question comment statement. Make sure you get some birthday wishes for our girl Desi Jingle Schnarf Schnarf. Um, and there you go. Pretty much straightforward. Uh, Ray Rock has joined us. Power Chew says, Color in this barbecue bar where the Jedi go for some good old fashioned barbecue. Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah, brother! I'll be grilling me some steaks today, brother. I got you. Uh, Kazakagi, it took me 11 battles to beat gas on Clash and Camino. I only lost IG 100. Well, you were lucky. The, the, it took me 18 hours. I'm just gonna leave it there. But happy birthday, Desi Tingle. Uh, so yeah, get your questions in, put the word question for any actual question, comment, or statement. That's how this show works. Whoever gets a question first, it would go in order of operations and then anything else. Oh, uh, if you would like to see me do a breakfast shoe where I take a beautiful shoe provided by said Jesse Jingle Schnarf Schnarf, uh, I pour nasty, disgusting fosters in it and I drink from it and, uh, I hate it, but, uh, it's for charity for my Mando costume. And Karth is so upset about the shoey that he turned off his camera 
He's so angry about the shoe. Look at him. He turned his camera off. He's had enough. So, yes. Uh, but, yeah, what's ever on your mind? Get your questions in, and we'll do that. Hello to everybody in Twitch, and hello to everybody in the YouTube. Oh, it's a special day, says Ray Rock. Mm -hmm. That's right. She's 21. Yeah, it's a lot of good guesses out there. Uh, <laughs> Daddy says, I can legally drink now. That's right. Uh, what's a drinking age in Britain? Like 12? I don't know. Like super young. Uh, it's 18. Sure. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh, any other questions? Get that in. I know it's been a slow week. Conquest. If you have any conquest questions or, you know, you can ask us anything. Questions about your account. Questions about the game. Questions about just about anything. So, oh, I'm going to ask you, Nev, have you been watching the Bad Batch? You've been Bad Batching it up? Uh, I've been I've been watching. I, I watched the first three episodes. So um, I, uh, I I figured I'd watch it because the... Uh, I, I, I I care I, I don't care much for where it's going, but I like how um I I'm enjoying the redemption arc. That's so uh, good. It's I'm, so that, good. That's the that's literally the only thing I, I really it's the one thing about the show I'm really really enjoying is um is Crosshair's redemption arc and you know getting forgiven mm -hmm. by his brothers and yeah but so, so that it's been really loving that. I've that's I've loved really every episode so far this season. There's been no filler. It's just been story, 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 and I'm I'm loving it because the previous Bad Batch seasons, there would be plot stories, and then you get two or three episodes of filler, and I'm like, really, for reals? And it's not that they were bad, but it just completely took me out of the show because there are moments in those first two seasons that you're just like, oh my god. Right, and then this one's just been fire. I've really enjoyed it. So yes. yeah, yeah. The, the, the bringing bringing the Martell sisters into Bad Batch was just not a good idea. They're I just was like, characters. why are we doing they're, this, man? They're not good characters, you know. Stop they're it. all better characters. Better. And we know they're coming too. We've seen some of them this year on the Bad Batch. It's like, oh really? <laughs> no spoilers, but uh, the only one that we do know that we haven't seen yet is Asaz Ventress. She's coming back, uh, and I'm super, super duper excited for that. But his last episode, no spoilers, had an awesome character in it, and I was like, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Give me some more of that. That was real good. Hey, Mr. Bones Rattlin says, no, 12 is in Ireland. I'm sorry. How are I got to me? Got my United Kingdom islands mixed up. It was over there in Ireland that they be shrinking at the age of 12. Oh, the fine day. Will we finally get Swago at, with Crosshair and Swago this year? This part you? I don't. Possibly. Let's wait till the Bad Batch season ends. I think if we do, we'll get Crosshair. It'll be by the end. Of the year. But I would like to see him as an addition to the Bad Batch. Have the full Bad Batch. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you look over my shoulder here, you can see I've got the full Bad Batch over there. I've got Crosshair and Hunter and Rekka and Tech and Echo and, and Omega over there. And they're looking nice on the shelf over there. Nice collection of uh, Black Series and uh, Hot Toys. Oh, my God. The new Hot Toys for Balin and Shin. I saw them, Nev. Oh, my God, Nev. I totally greened my jorts. Cheese, <laughs> Louise. Cheese and rice. Cheese and huge. rice. Unbelievable. Nobody does huge. hot toys like I do. They're tremendous, <laughs> tremendous, tremendous <laughs> toys. Oh my god, they look so good. I, they will be going on the Amazon wish list for maybe my birthday this year because oh my god. Oh my god, I saw those and I was just like and someone's dog is uh, not liking the take of the hot toys, and I don't appreciate no. that. Damn it! Hot toys are awesome. Oh, oh! Did you did you? I mean, there, there was there was one that there was one amount really really liked. What's um, that? Have, uh, have you heard what uh, Lucasville were doing on May the Fourth? No. What are they doing? Um, limited. Um, obviously, it's going to be limited cinemas, but they're going to play all nine movies. Oh my god! Back to back in limited cinemas i'm not oh going to sit there God. and watch all nine but i will go from three to six yeah i don't know if i could sit and like yeah like uh, i'm not doing all nine i'm it, not doing all nine i could do like three uh, through seven the seven wasn't bad 
but I'll do yeah. You got to, you you're gonna have to remember these are gonna be the cinematic releases, so they're gonna be longer than yeah. You know? No, I, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking um, I'm I'm thinking to myself two hours per movie, which is why I'm only which is why I would only do that. yeah no yeah the Acolyte trailer was good. I know a lot of people have been shitting on. I'm like, what are you shitting on? It was just a teaser trailer. People get a goddamn life. I really thought the tra trailer was really good. You know, it had a lot of good little moments in there, and it kind of got me going. Okay. Yeah. All right, this is going to be dark. A lot of f cool shit in there. Uh, all right, let's do this. Apparently, a lot of people are pooping on it. But you know what? I don't care because Star Wars fans are stupid sometimes. And they did the same thing with Andor, and look how Andor turned out. So I was like, eh, I don't care. What it is. You want to be, be negative and, and poo-poo? You know, there's, here's this thing called, why don't you make an opinion after you see the whole thing? You're gonna hate on it originally, then. Exactly. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't watch. Um, oh, you'd like it. It's got some really good Ahsoka. Easter eggs in there and some cool shit in there. You're just like, oh, and it's dark. <laughs> Nev, this is going to be a dark Star Wars. Yeah, show. No, I, 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 I heard, I heard the line. This is not about good and evil. This is about power. So. Oh yeah, I, it's I, all I about that, man. People are going to get cut up in this show, and I'm like, hell <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. You see it in the trailer, you're like. Oh my gosh! It's like, oh man, give me some more of this. Contingent. Hey, not every, not every piece of Star Wars content is for every Star Wars fan. That's but right. There is Star Wars content for every fan. Yeah, this one's for evil bitches like me. Contingents here, my man. Says, has anyone seen the Empire State Building show they that they did for Star Wars? I haven't even heard of this. There's no Easter bunnies. I said Easter eggs. Get out of here, Power Chew. I haven't. No, I don't know about this. You have to let me know, Contingent. I have not heard anything about this. No, I'm not. I'm not in the know, as the kids like to say in them streets. So yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Depressed Swamp. I watched Andrew last week based on your recommendation, and hot damn, it was amazing. I don't know why people hate on it. Nobody's hating on it. Anybody that's actually watched Andor from start to finish has hated that show. I mean, the two best speeches oh, I've ever heard in Star Wars in just moments are in that show. Out of all the Star Wars content I've ever seen, the Luthien moment, and then uh, I can't remember his adopted mom's name, but her speech at the end there, and that fight where you actually see stormtroopers killing motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, this is brutal, man. And I, mean, I love it's, it. It's not <laughs> it's not. I mean, not not every not every Star Wars movie or TV show is going to be everyone's cup. Of tea. No, it's not going to be everyone's cup. Of tea. I think it's like you know, people. It's egg. You know, hey, you if, if you as a Star Wars fan enjoy it, great. That's brilliant. It wasn't my cup of tea this time. I'll wait for the next. One. You know, that's the way I look at it. You know, was didn't watch didn't watch Obi Wan didn't watch Ahsoka. I watched Bad Batch. You know, I'm being very entertained with the uh, the yeah. you know very entertained with the Bad Batch. So uh, you know, not everything's everybody you know just you know but there's so much star wars content i mean come on we we, we are spoiled we are spoiled and, spoiled and we're taking and people books. are spoiled are by spoiled it pictures. and and you're going to lose it one day and you're going to be like we were back in the early 90s where we had nothing but books it's books all comics, yeah. we had all yeah, we nice. had in the 90s books comics and video that's it yes all right, I'll go back and look at a contingent. Thank you, my friend. Neil Venner says, Ranger, the reason people are crapping on is the fact that it has the same problem the Halo show and the Witcher show had. Ranger right? producers know nothing about the franchise. Well, that's not a reason to shit on a show, man. I'm sorry. I mean, sometimes a fresh perspective is good. You know, I mean, I don't know. It, again, I, just I will leaving. base it off of the actual show <laughs> and what I see, right? And this is new yeah. content because we've never seen this timeline <laughs> covered before. Right? It's brand new. It's new ground. We've never seen the High Republic era ever. And I was saying this on the stream the other day. We, in the story that's not even canon, other than Bane, we have Bane and Zana. Then we get a thousand years. <laughs> and then we get to Plagueis and shit. That's the big gap and that they're going back into that timeline and, and covering this shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> and going back into it, but it's like, like just barely. <laughs> I mean, it's 180 years before, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, man, bring it. I want to see what this is. And it gives them full, you know, canvas to do whatever they want. Um, but yeah, I well, mean, they get a, yeah, there's a lot more play with it. It's just 
the the concern is and and i like i said i'm with you i'm gonna wait till it comes out and i'll judge it when i see it but the concern for a lot of people is is disney has been on this little tirade of pandering and it's really ruined a lot of shows because you spend so much time on unimportant issues yeah that it just creates, it just really distracts from the story you're trying to tell because yeah. you're spending so much time dealing with issues that we would deal with in our lives. And, you know, in a fantasy world, you're not really coming to see how planet Zyborg is going to deal with that same issue. Um, so that's kind of where you get into this, <clears throat> into the weeds on it is you get people that don't respect what's established and they don't, they don't their objective isn't to tell a good story it's to check boxes and, and if they do it, that it, then you me carth and yeah, everybody else will say we'll go you did it again yeah, we'll, we'll shit, on, shit it, on it you know but i mean but i'm i'm willing to see it wait and see till it comes out and and give it the old college try yeah it because looks like, very like said, interesting it's, it's a new it's a new era it's interesting i'm really just like perplexed as taking star wars the better part of like 80 years to, to figure do, it out like, branch you know? off to branch off from I'm, the skywalker I'm, saga like like i get it it's a cool character and like lit in story but like there is so much star wars and all we do is focus on like the skywalkers and i'm like all right you guys can write a good story going anywhere else like it's like why do you think like revan's storyline was so well received because oh my god yeah it was we got so far away from everything else that these crazy dynamics and these and this in this lore rich environment could now be explored and fleshed out because we're not impacting known Star Wars. We're keeping away from that. So and and that's one thing I like the Ahsoka series that I really loved more than anything was just the expansion of the universe. Yeah. It was like, thank you. Finally, we got some stuff that we've been begging for. We got the celestials introduced. We got the 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 live action more in the night sisters we got the expansion of the of the galaxies you know and all that stuff and the throns in there it's like thank you <laughs> you know that's what i've been waiting for forever is to get away from a lot of the the normal story tropes and stuff that we've been doing like you said the skywalker saga and saga and stuff like that it's like thank jesus christ so with that and the acolyte in the new timeline where they're not really hindered by anything that's related you know it's like thank you can get some good stuff and now don't get me wrong Andor is in that timeline but it's an important story because you really get into the nitty-gritty of that in that series of the rebellion and the empire and they get nitty-gritty and i love it right um and it's so well written and it's so powerful um but yeah man it's oh my god oh i can't wait uh blah blah blah, blah. Kim says, uh, I love 90% uh, of all Star Wars content. I don't hate any of it. I mean, to each other Star Wars fan their own, there's something for everyone if they just like of their hate. It, it just, it's just, it's easy to be a negative Nancy. I mean, if you don't like something, that's fine, but don't hate on somebody that likes them, right? Like I always say, Calvin Awesome loves episode one and two. I can't stand episode one and two. There's moments <laughs> there, right? Like I said, if Duel of the Fates comes on, I just, my head turns and I will walk, I'm mesmerized because every time that fight scene happens, I'm just like, I'm even singing the song. I'm like, Hala, da, da, da. you know, so, <laughs> um, but you know, I, I, they're unwatchable for me, man. They really are. Um, like my favorite is Rogue One, you know, Empire's right there with it too. Those are my two favorite Star Wars movies. Um, but other people like, you know, and it's generational, you know, if you grew up when you were a kid with the prequels, those are your favorite movies. If you are uh, like a kid now, you know, these young kids that are getting into star Wars, theirs was seven, eight, and nine that has a special place in their heart, you know? So it's like, yeah, I get it. You know, if you love it. Then my, love uh, it. One of my steps on, uh, one of my steps on high school friends, uh, um, uh, he's like, oh, um, talk to him about star wars i'm like why it's like oh he's just play he plays that game you stream i'm like oh right so he fired it up he's 1.35 million right he doesn't know youtubers he doesn't know twitch streamers he didn't even know star wars galaxy of hero at uh, swagger.gg existed it's just been happily playing the game yeah and watching the tv shows he doesn't know anything about you know the um 
he, he doesn't know any of the who shot who first drama. That, that's the, I, I refer to all Star Wars drama as who shot who first. Because yeah. let's be honest, that's where it all began. Han shot all, first. I'll debate anybody. Han with Han shooting first and all those other people. No, Han did not shoot. Yes, he did. That's where it all began. So all drama ever in perpetuity, as far as I'm concerned, is who shot who first drama. And it's goddamn Corban, not Morban. I will die on the cross for that one too, damn it. God. It was just, it, it was just so George refreshing. Lucas. Coming across, like, literally, this is a budding, fledgling Star Wars fan. And, and they just watch the content. They don't listen to talking heads. They don't listen to pundits. Yeah. They just enjoy what's available to I took them in, I took them in the hallway and showed them my bookshelf and they're like wow I didn't realize that was around. well I always say like you know they get a sense of how, how good of a movie is because my mom and her friends are you know they've seen the Star Wars movies like the last three movies they love them they thought they were fun right and so I started this conversation about how Star Wars fans are and my mom says that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard I was like yeah, right you know? Yeah, of course it is. It's it's supposed to be nerds. It's supposed to be stupid. You know, nerds I was just like, just she's like, it, it's a really good show. I mean, she she doesn't have all the baggage with it, right? I think one that thing that as Star Wars movie. fans that we do is we project what we want on this stuff, and when we don't get it, we don't like it, and that's okay. But the problem is we take it to the next level, right? And then we start name calling and putting other people down because, well. You're weak. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You're just weak. You want other feel, people to feel weak. So that's what happens, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, there's so much good Star Wars content, and it's whatever's fun for you, enjoy. And I and it, it brings me nothing but happiness. Whatever show you like, and if you love it, that's all I care about as a Star Wars fan is that you love it, right? You know, I'm I'm passionate, but I'm not the gatekeeper of this shit. They do what they're going to do. I'll tell you if I like it or not and give my reasons why objectively as best I can. Although a lot of it is subjective, you know, whether it's any of the shows, you know, um, and I'll say why I didn't like something, but for the most part, there's a lot of good stuff in the shows and there's some stuff in a lot of the shows that I'm just like, no, you know, um, like book of Boba Fett. I like the beginning stuff with the Tuscans. Then it lost its goddamn mind afterwards. I don't know what they were trying to do. <laughs> no idea. What Kenobi. To do that. There's a lot of things in Kenobi I adore in Kenobi. The final fight scene is one of the best fight scenes I've ever seen. The choreograph, they're just incredible. There's also parts of Kenobi I'm like, there's no way on any universe that Leia should outrun these guys. What is happening? What are you doing, man? That looks ridiculous. So there's moments like that. Is but you know it's you know that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean I'm right or wrong. It's just why I didn't like something, but you shouldn't, but I don't put someone down for saying, no, I thought that was really fun. Oh, you did. Well, good for you. Oh, I'm glad you like that. You know? So we gotta be, we gotta be nicer to one another when it comes to this stuff. If someone says that they like episode one and you're like, that's stupid, then you're stupid because they love it. And and you shouldn't put someone down for loving something. As long as they're a Star Wars fan, it doesn't matter. Just find the common ground. There's plenty of common ground in Star Wars that we can all, a door like the scene in Rogue One where Darth Vader starts just murking mo fuckers. I don't care who you are, that is the baddest scene ever. And then you got those scene from you know Mandalore where Luke goes in and does the same thing. They're both equally badass. There's there's plenty of stuff that we can love about Star Wars. Just be happy about. It. So there you go. Rant over. Okay. Um. All right. We went on that tangent. So yeah. Hey, no, I'm a star. I'm a Trekkie too, man. Let's not, let's not, let's not fool around with Trek. I love Star Wars more, but don't get me wrong. I'll Trek the shit out of some stuff, man. Are you kidding Ooh. me? I've seen all the shows. I love them. That cartoon I they're doing. I can't remember what it's called, but oh my God, man. I, I love that cartoon. It's so stupid. I, it makes me giggle all the time. Lower Decks. Lower Decks. Oh my God. It's so well. And not a spoiler, but uh, in the last season of New Worlds, they had those characters Go from 2D to 3D and come into uh, the Star Trek New World. Dude, I was cracking up, man. It was so good to see the real live action people that do the voices playing those characters in Star Trek. Dude, mm. I was losing my mind. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen, dude. It's so good. Uh, I, I get my I get I get my sci-fi I get my sci-fi comedy from uh, um, from the Orville and Red Dwarf. <laughs> 
Yeah. The Orville's great. I love that show. I mean, I've seen everything. Yeah. I mean, I've seen everything. Yeah. I mean, I've watched Strange New Worlds. I did try Strange New Worlds. Um, but I, I I kept from getting, I kept from getting pulled out of, uh, I kept from getting pulled out of it. I mean, New Um, Worlds? Yeah. 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 the, the, The crew, right? So you've got Captain Pike and you've got the crew. His crew is so goddamn insubordinate. I'm thinking to myself, the crew weren't insubordinate on the bloody Enterprise. What's going on here? You know, from the, I'm talking, you know, like the original Star Trek. You know, there was Are no. Are you kidding me? They were insubordinate all over the place. Doctor McCoy was as insubordinate as ever, and Scotty, man. Oh my god. Yes, but I'm but, but bridge, I get what you're bridge, saying. The bridge. So you know, he, he like relay orders, and he gets some back talk, and just just those little things kind of just pulled me out of. Me oh, out I, of. I I like the banter because they're really a close knit group, and you see that as you go through the series, they're really a family, and he treats them as a family, and family does what family's going to do, right? Because he really cares about them, and they and you go through some things with them in the story arcs and stuff later on. You're just like wow and you see why there's that connection but there's also the the reason why they are with each other because they've been doing this a long time five year i preferred enterprise i preferred enterprise i I I like enterprise don't get me wrong new generations deep space nine i've watched all of them i love all of them you know for different reasons they were all different right Mm -hmm. um and i just respect this one for what it is and it's really good and and the second season was even more fantastical they had a whole show where they did something something happened and they had to sing like they're doing a uh, uh, a play or not a play a musical. So everything was a musical, like the oh, 18th did, century yeah, no. musical. Mus- and musical I was episode. cracking yeah. up, man. And they were really good at it too. I was like, God damn, y'all can sing. I started seeing Pike yeah. sing, and I'm like, I didn't know you could <laughs> sing. That's a lot, funny. a lot of shows have done it. Now, uh, uh, Scrubs did it. Uh, Buffy Love Vampire it, man. Did it. That's Buffy so Vampire funny. Slayer musical episode was just freaking. Awesome. I mean, Spock started singing and I lost it, dude. I lost my shit. I was crying, laughing. And then I was like, I'll get in like all day because he was really being emotional. I was like, Spock. So, it's yeah. funny you should mention Star Trek and Star Wars. I was watching Big Bang with my stepdaughter the other day, and it was the episode okay. where Sheldon gets married. By Luke Skywalker, yeah, yeah. by Mark Hamill, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and um, and uh, uh, Will Wheaton goes over to him and says, "I was supposed to be officiating this. I stayed up all night writing these notes." And Mark Hamill's like, "Who are you?" Yeah, <laughs> like a Star Wars star saying, "Who are you?" to a Star Trek star, and then he just, "Oh, these will be really." He just takes the book. Off. I love <laughs> Big Bang, such a great nerd that, show for all of that, us. That, that, it's it, the thing is that that scene there tells you. Um, exactly, exactly what fan Chuck Lorre is. He is Star Wars over Star Trek. <laughs> That's whatever you like, man. You know, as I said, I, I have an appreciation for both for different reasons. Um, but Star Wars will Oh, yeah. Star the Wars Big Bang is one of the best comedy shows ever. Man. Oh, my God. oh, so good. Go back and watch it. You will, if you're a nerd, you will love Big Bang Theory. It is absolutely brilliant. We all know people that are like that in that show. I have friends that are like some of those characters. You know, I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yes. yes. So I like Parks and Rec. I like, it's like, you are this person. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You're a Leslie No. You're a yeah. Ron Swanson. <laughs> yeah. The Office. You're an Andy. Yeah. You are been... clearly an Andy. <laughs> yeah, I've watched The Office and it's like, I know so many people like this. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. All right. Uh, so yeah, get your questions. I'm going to go a little bit while longer here. If you don't get any more questions, well, maybe we'll wrap up a little bit early today and uh, get there, get our day started out there in the world. I know I got some stuff to do. Um, so yeah, get your questions in. If you have a question, pop that in uh, with the word question for any extra question, comment or statement. If you're on YouTube, hit that thumbs up, Twitch, hit the heart, follow us on Twitch. And then uh, anything, if anyone wants to see me do a shoey, help me with the costume. Blah blah blah. Hit the, the the tip jar. Make sure you go clink clink in in the the chat. And then uh, I got a lot to do today. Got some stuff going on. And then um, got some data crons to work on. Oh my god! And we lost Karth. Oh no! We lost Karth. Oh, oh no! Why no? Get a real suit. Does I love the Big Bang? So bloody. So. Well, when we don't have a lot of content in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes going on there now, then we start talking about nerd shit, and that's okay, too. Yeah, yeah, we start talking about the nerd shit. The nerd shit. Well, that's fine. There's nothing no, no, right. 
I love talking. I love doing nerd shit. I walk around in a goddamn fully authentic Beskar Mando costume, man. I'm nerding it up hard. Come on now. I wear Star Wars t-shirts like every single... It's Linky. It's fun for a girl. And the boy says, you lost Karth, but you gained... Hey, peeps. What's going on, Linky? Uh... Jetta Rules question is anyone watch Young Sheldon like I do like I do. I haven't watched that show. I may go back it's and funny. watch it. It's not it's not yeah, as it's, funny, but it is just, funny. Yeah. It does have its moments. Yeah, I only I, watch I, yeah, certain shows is uh, what I have time for. So the, the, I'm the, very the particular what thing, I get into. Yeah, go ahead. The interesting thing about Young Sheldon is the narration. The narration, um, because there is a there there, there is some uh, exposition that's narrated by the original cast members of the big band oh right nice so every now and then sheldon talks about something in his set yeah about himself and then it's kind of he'll then refer to oh my god i have to go play i have to go um teach my son how to ride a skateboard i have to teach my son leonard how to go write a skateboard so my thinking is the 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 people that make young sheldon they're going to stop it and the season will end when Sheldon's father dies, and then they're going to go back to the future. They're going to do a crossover. They'll use the actor that plays Sheldon as a kid as Sheldon's son. Oh, I and can see that. Sheldon yeah. aim, they'll do the, because they've got it. They've got the, the the narration is set with them in their forties. That makes sense. And they've all got grown. They've all got teenage grown kids. So. That's where I think they'll go. That's what once that once young Sheldon has run its course and and the unfortunate passing of his father happens, I think that's when they'll be like, right, yeah. that's it, young Sheldon over. We don't want this kid kid's voice dropping anymore. <laughs> the actor that plays Sheldon, you know, we need him to look like a teenager. So let's move on. So that's what I think. Sure. And I think people will watch that for four, five, six years as well. Uh, question from Kimmy Baby he says: Question, Hard Sector Five boss fight, no GL. Uh, no GL feet can trade work and or nicest. We were talking about that earlier. I think we were talking about, there were some teams listed. If you go, scroll back up, Kimmy, I can't remember what was listed. I haven't had a chance. We're going to, we're, we're going to do it on Monday, Kim. So um, I cleared it with a GL, but I used, I put Bo Mandalore in there. I tried it with the Bo Mandalore team. Not going to happen. Uh, someone recommended a team. I'll show it on Monday for you, Kim, and then we'll get through it. I'm not going to do it right now because my priority right now is getting materials for all these datacrons that I definitely need. I need some. I need datacrons, say. Meh. I need them, say. I got GAC to do. I got to keep maintain my section three records, say. Meh. Keep me from that, Kimmy. Eh. All right, Qui-Gon Jinnigas. What's going on, brother? Says, question. Hey, guys, for the Sidious Datacron, should I finally slap his head on? I would. I mean, I've had it on since I did the C event, man. Fuck that. I was thinking about that, too, Dash with ZAs. But the problem is they keep losing turn meter, Mr. Bone, and they have so much health and protection. I don't know how good. And I've got four badass ZAs and all the other bells and whistles. But I'm just looking at that like, me? Because I was even thinking uh, L3 in the droids because of the ZAs, because she can one shot the board even through Sector 5. As soon as she takes a turn. But they keep taking your goddamn turn meter away. It takes you forever. I know we had Radis as a recommended team. So I'll test all this stuff for you guys on Monday. Can't do it right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some of that in for you guys Monday. Just remind me on Monday and, and we'll, we'll hit it hard and. Uh, you know, we'll do the thing and run the teams and you guys can see what works and what doesn't work. I'm you know me, I love being the guinea pig. I'll be the goddamn I'm guinea pig. I'm loving Conquest at the moment, mate. Yeah, I mean, I for the mo- up, uh, six to one, I picked up that, you know, that blue one, the three dot blue one that gives you 300% defense. Yeah, yeah, I've got one of those. I yeah, yeah. I, I, I picked that I picked that up like after the second node on sector one and it's like, it just makes half my teams horrible against whatever I'm fighting. It's freaking awesome. I took uh, Jabba, JMK. I, I, I spent about 300, 350 crystals on refreshes because I was able to, with that date card, with that card, I was able to take like, all my teams down like 30, 20% and focus. Yeah. <coughs> Mr. Bone says, use Sorty BBA. Yeah, we've been using that a lot in this in, uh, this uh, conquest, and we'll do it again. Uh, do not lead. I can see that with Cal. Get, get ahead of it and do your thing and yeah, I can see that team. We'll, we'll run some teams. There's, there's got to be a way to, to destroy that. Hey, Seahorse, what's going on? Says hi, hello, my friend. 
so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We always do. Um, but I did beat it for the bow feet. I didn't want to take it. I went in there with bow Mandal Mandalorians and of course they destroy in this, this conquest, but I could, I could only kill two of the guys for, our I got timed out. That's how bad that was. I was like, well, that's not going to work. That's poo poo. Um, so th and then I was like, okay, let me just get the bow feet done. So I just put bow with Kenobi and just was patient. I put, I put the damage and mini on uh, GK and let them do their thing. And then as soon as I got to ultimate, I was like, hi there, Padme. And then I nuked her with cat <laughs> and it was fantastic. And then the team died. So creamily. Grid. Holy shit. Well, that's a name I've not heard since uh, way before you were born. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, Grid. Grid. Oh, Grid. Formerly the best hair in Swagger. Uh, well, he still has the best hair. And if you don't look good, we don't look good. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Vidal Sassoon. What are you doing, you crazy you crazy guy? You, you're so crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, God. It's Grid. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Trader Tot says, Jay and I, Luke, Basti, Yoda, and Hoda worked for me. Focus on Padme, and then after you kill her, it's easy. Okay, we'll try that, Trader Tots. I was really surprised the bow team did not do shit. I was just like, that's crazy because they hit like trucks, but they kept getting all those buffs and stuff. I'm like, lick a butt, straight up lick a butt. Ugh. But we'll work, we'll do all that stuff on Monday because I will be streaming on Monday as is tradition. And it looks like one of my mom's friends here. You know what? I'm going ultimate because I'm sorry you guys hitting my Kenobi. Here, eat that, die. I'm doing I'm doing some conquests in the background so I can try to get some data crown materials. He still has the best hair in the game. There is no doubt about uh, that for shizzle. Grid is a legend, and we will respect his legendary status as having the best hair. Delicious hair. You just got the Jedi Calcron that says Jedi rules. Oh, delicious. Yes. Good. Yeah, same thing with me. Well, well, no, I clear killed two of them, but I just couldn't get through them fast enough, man. It was like, man, god damn it! Uh, I had turned off for a second. The link, yeah, I'll burn him back up here for a second. I'm doing some stuff with my computer and stuff. I know you guys miss me. How beautiful I am! You can live without me. Uh, he says, laughing, my, laugh my ass off. The hair is a little different now. What'd you do? Did you shave it off, Grid? Did you get rid of your quaff? Did you get rid of it? Is it all just a, just a buzz cut? What's going on there, uh, Grid? I mean, last video I saw your hair looked kind of very Grid-like hairstyle. I mean, it was long and manageable and conditioned and everything like that. I mean, it looked fine. Has it gotten longer? Are you doing a ponytail like the Nev? Nev's, he let Nev's I'm rock. I'm cutting, I'm, I'm cutting mine off soon. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 around about that length where I uh, uh, cut it off so that I can donate it to the Little Princess Foundation. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, oh, there you go. So, like, roughly every three years. Mm-hmm. But I hope you're doing well, Grid. Glad to see you here, brother. No, stay away. Stay away. Wife keeps threatening to cut my hair. Mm hmm all right, get your questions in. We're going to go over a little while longer here. It's pretty cool. Uh, Nev is longer than mine, but yeah, way longer. Ah, see, look at old Ranger knowing what the hell's going on in the world. I didn't even, I haven't seen, talked to Grid in a while, but I know. I know about the hair. Oh, my God. Who doesn't know about that? I know. But yes, Grid will always have the best here in the business. All right, actually, while we're waiting, I'm going to roll a cron here, and I'll tell you what I get here. That's what she said. Oh, my God. All right, so Jedi cron. Let's see which one we get. We got Mace Windu. Well, that's a reroll automatically. Let me just reroll that real quick, because that's trash. <laughs> no. Hell no. Hell to the no, Nev. I am not doing Mace. Mace is what I just rolled. Hell no. He's got to go. Be anything but mace. I'll take anything but mace. What do I got? Cam or ooh, should I get the cam one or the Jedi Knight Cal one? 
I'm gonna go with Kim. I'm kind of thinking I go with Kim here, guys. Oh my god. Oh god. Link says, Do I even want to know what you guys are comparing? Hair. It's hair. It's not penises. It's hair. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I have not run in the background. I'm just doing my auto stuff. Oh boy. I got Cam or Jedi Knight Cal. Oh, the two that I've been working on there, Nev. I'm yeah. really leaning toward Cam. I don't, I don't do oh, Grid sent me a picture. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh my God, he's gone full hippie. He's gone full hippie. He's gone full hippie. Oh my God, Grid, I don't recognize you anymore, hippie boy. Oh my God, what am I looking at right now? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. All right, I went with Cam. I got to do it. All right. We have four knocked out of the, f the eight, nine that we need. Let me just lock this in place and we'll do some more uh, pulls and rolls and uh, get these up and running. Uh, Carl question. I'm farming bad batch marauder ship. Is it viable at lower stars? Yes, it is. Even at six stars. Cause I haven't even done shit on that farm. I should start working on that farm now, but I was like, I took a break cause I've been working on, you know, important stuff like gear. Um, and I was like, no way. No goddamn way. No way. I, I'm not taking... I just took these other ships up, goddammit. Oh. Maybe it's time I start working on it, Ned. What do you think? Just just pull pull, I mean, the, you, you, pull, my, pull, pull a tooth and take it to seven stars. It's six stars right now. It's like, God damn it. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can work on it lightly. You just do one part a day, oh, you know? It makes me sad. It makes me sad. Okay, now I got that fixed. All right, come on, come on. There we go. We're back. There we go. All right. We got uh, Cam. We got Keller and Beck. We got Ray. And we got Swidius. And we remodded Sidious yesterday, too. Um, we went with the full potency set and certain stats because we want him to do extreme damage. So that's what we're going for. I'm Grid, I got to send these to Desi. Schnarf, schnarf. She's got to see Grid's hair. We'll let Desi's reaction in the uh, chat tell you what she thinks of uh, the grid hair. Because Des loves her some grid, man. And again, make sure if you, have, if you haven't already, give our, our good moderator and longtime friend and co-host on a lot of our Wednesdays and Fridays and other shows, uh, Desi Dingle Schnarf Schnarf. Schnarf Schnarf. I guess in the other one. Here and that. Image. And that's a Desi Jingle Schnarch. Let's see her reaction. Oh. Gonna die. You should have seen her when she met Grid in Vegas, man. It was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> she was so happy. She was squealing. <laughs> and then we all got high. And then we had a plate of nachos together. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's Desi. He says, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's Desi Jingle Schnarch Schnarf. <laughs> uh, you would have loved this grid when we went and had our picture taken with uh, Ewan McGregor and um, Hayden Christensen I mean the best part of that yeah it was cool meeting them and getting to talk with them and getting our picture taken but to see Desi's reaction was fucking priceless dude she was so she was crying she held it together as soon as we got done she just exploded she was a sovereign mess she was so overjoyed and happy to have met those guys and got hugs and everything like that it was unbelievable <laughs> it was so sweet desi is a goddamn treasure man <laughs> oh my god yeah we got a nice spot if you go to the the discord grid and you go to megacon 2025 and we will be doing megacon next year so if you want to come join us and have a lot of fun and and it'll be again a wrap up for our rsg acs campaign uh, we're going to be megacon february 6th to the 9th in florida let's start making plans now everybody it's a year out let's make plans if you want to come join us join the discord join the megacon chat let's see how many people we can get down there and have some fun man because we had a blast doing it last time i will be in the full regalia of the best car costume again with even more bells and whistles i'm getting the spear nav and the two uh digital things for the uh arm guards now 
That's the next thing we're oh. raising money for. So I'm going to get the little digital display on the right piece, and then I'm going to get the whistling birds for the other one. We're going to have active whistling birds. Can you believe that shit? Nice. And she must be protected, says Grid. That's right. Yeah, we didn't tell Desi we were doing that for her. <laughs> well, you told her we had to get her picture taken, but we didn't tell Desi she was going to be in the photo. Gotcha. And they were so cool, man. You know, like meeting all of them and uh, getting to meet Tamora Morrison, right? Um, just fantastic. They're so, they're so awesome. So sweet. Very nice. Very humble. You know, they didn't just like hurry up, get in here, take the photo. They were like, hey, how are you? And it's nice to meet you. And are you having a good day? And, you know, Desi didn't say much other than, you know? <laughs> me and Finn and, and uh, Kandidia were sitting there like shooting the shit with them. And Desi was just smiling from ear to ear. It was so precious. I swear that made my life seeing Desi's reaction to that. It's like, you know, like a kid on Christmas opening the presents, like little kids when they get presents and they get that one present that they've always wanted for that year. And you just see that glee and joy. Oh my God. It was, just, it just, it just melts your heart. He did not. He did it to me first. <laughs> he actually came out to me and says, hello there. And I did it back, and he, he kind of like, he smiled. I was like, I could do that too. <laughs> I didn't ask them to say that. They said it to me first. It was like Tamora Morrison went up and got uh, his signature and stuff. And uh, he came up and says, Oh, you're looking good there, bud. Can tell you work out. I'm like, So nice. <laughs> oh, thank you for saying so. <laughs> like, Fist bumped in me, kept fist bumping me, asked me questions. I'm like, God damn, thanks, bro. You made my day. Even though I had to sit in this line for four hours. And it wasn't even for me. It was for stupid ass Finn. Oh, I hate Finn so much. He did. Continue says Hayden looked like he wanted to continue to talk to even though they knew people needed to move along. Yeah, Hayden was just like, yeah, he kept asking questions and stuff. And then it's like, okay, we got to go. It's like, well, it's nice meeting you guys. Like, oh. Hayden, if I could have a drink with you, buddy, I would. So yeah, that was really, really, really dope. But we got Desi. She didn't know about it. We nailed her ass. <laughs> Evil! <laughs> Surprise presents are the best. Worked hard for those pictures. Have Desi be a part of it made total sense. And I've got that behind me. Great photo of me, Hayden, Desi, Ben... If I could remove Finn, I would, but, you know, we have to take the good with the bad. Uh, so, yeah. I know, contingent, but, you know, it was still great. It was an awesome experience. The next year, if they're there, I'm going to get them to autograph that and say, hey, guys, really awesome. So The best kind of prize is a surprise. That's right, Weddle 73. And next year, you guys, we're going to plan. We're going to have a VIP part for, we're planning to get in the VIP stuff for uh mega con so if you make it down there we will have access for vip so we can get you guys all kinds of access and stuff so we got a lot planned for next year for mega going hard in the costume we're gonna do a lot of cool shit. we're going hard nev yeah you better see well, you down I, I, there I, in goddamn florida you son of a bitch i keep getting I, at the moment every time i every time i log on to facebook just check notifications i'm getting some ad for some convention in indiana and it just keeps on flashing up all these stars we don't care things. about that we care about floridia and february 6th to the 9th you need to bring you and the missus and the kit chitlins down and you know god february, damn it february sorry what was that february february uh, 6th through the 9th damn it that's good that's off season i could probably i've met everybody else in the community but you and arnold arnold probably will never meet me but if i can knock you off the bucket list i'll say i've met every goddamn content creator and that's that's that well, I mean, we could, we, we could always hit, we could always hit up uh, Arnold, see if he wants to car share, you know, road trip. It. Yeah, just a little road trip. Yeah. Little, little road, road trip. trip. Little, road, little road trip. Little road trip. Little road trip through Kansas. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mississippi, Tennessee, all the way down to Pretty cool. good old Florida. Yeah, down there in Florida, boy, I tell you what. 
it was a lot of fun. L tired. We were all exhausted every day, but God, it was a good exhaust. You know, like when you've just had so much fun, you're just exhausted. Mm -hmm. But it was you're just smiling because you're like, hell yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, this wasn't at Vegas. I haven't met Meow Meow yet. He's welcome to come down to Florida. All right. Did you hit me back, Spartan Racer? Who are you? I'm looking at my arena thing. I'm like, who the hell are you? Oh, are you a sniper? Ooh, Nev, I get to have fun with a sniper person. Oh, yes. Sniper? Yes, they're not being a very good participant in my uh, fleet shard. Well, you must pay the price. <laughs> you will learn. I don't remember everybody I've met, man. I've over the years I've met a lot of people with the stuff we've done. So, and then a lot of them have quit playing too. I mean, I've met I met um, I met Arnold and Mobile Game back in 2018. I met Ray Rock. We just didn't realize. We just didn't know, know it was them, right? We we didn't know each other at the time. No, we didn't. And then the following year, we went to celebration. Huh. That was a lot of fun. Kind of a no-brainer. It was in Chicago. I'm already here. Yeah, oh, I guess. Got to go. Oh, a blue heel over time. Four heel over time effects. Two turns. Well, yeah, it was uh, Finn and Cyber Shark were there. Uh, I don't think we bumped into each other. It's, of all this huge. shit. We, we, uh, it. Yeah. Me, me and Ray Rock went on the last day. We didn't go when everybody else went. Uh, everybody else went on like Friday and Saturday. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I had to meet Finn. I try to keep him on a leash, but he gets away and stuff happens. I apologize, everybody. All right, final call for questions and stuff. We kind of just been bullshitting here. It's time to get the day started. We got things to do, people to go, things to happen. Yes. Final call. Final call for questions. Final call. Final call. The final countdown. We have a minute or two to get your questions in. If not, we're getting the hell out of here. Got birthday celebration shit to do today, and I got D and D tonight. I got a lot of stuff going on. I got a lot of activities to do. Yeah, have a talk. Got something out, something out for dinner, and something out for lunch. We're doing steaks tonight. Ooh, nice. yeah, a little steaks, a little grilling today. We can finally grill. It's not freezing, nipply cold outside, so we can do a little grilling today. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Mm. Have some alcohol, grill up. Yeah. We're heading to Venus, Venus. Okay, so you're singing it. When was it number one? Uh, 1986. Don't even fuck around with me on that stuff. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Hang Europe. A minute. Come on, man. Yeah, but what? Um, what? Uh, uh, what month was it? Number one in 1986. Why do I want to say it was in the beginning of 1986? I want to say like February, March of that of that beginning of the End year. Of the year. Was it end of the year? I don't remember yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah, I think it was the. I think it was the. Uh, it was the last number one of um, nineteen eighty six. Was it okay? Yeah, it, it knocked that. Oh, what was it? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, there was a bunch of music that year. It was a. It was a. It was a good year. Nineteen eighty six was a good year. Right? It was a great year for music. 19, I mean, nineteen eighty six was a great year. Top Gun came out. You had the Top Gun soundtrack with "Take My Breath Away" and all that other stuff, and then uh, Madonna. Yeah, that, yeah you had Madonna Bowie, had "Papa Don't Preach," Bowie. and you know, no, she had three. Oh yeah, no, she was back. huge. She had three number ones. She had three. Yeah, from eighty four to nineteen ninety one, Madonna had so many number ones. It was stupid, man. Yeah, it was huge. It was nuts. Oh, mighty. Every time she had a new song, they're like, "Do you live in the studio?" I mean, yeah. God damn, woman. Yeah, she she Papa don't preach material girl. Yeah, mm. Island Bonita. Um, La Isla Bonita. That was it. Those were the, those were the three number ones that year. And then can you live the tell the tell? That was a number one for her. But I think that was in '85 um, with uh, Material Girl. Uh, with that 
uh, from Desperately Seeking Susan. You know, yeah, she looked yeah. hot as balls in that music video. Oh my god! I was, yeah. and I was, I was just a kid, and I'm like, wow, okay, yeah, that that looks really, really nice. <laughs> Mary J says, "Me and Ranger need to start a band called the Diabetes. Oh, well, or die, no, Diabetes. Okay, got it. I had to look at that for a second. Yeah, we could. Uh, it's crazy, Mary J. I could use more cowbell. Nev, you say much? I've got a fever." And the only prescription <laughs> is more cowbell. The only prescription is more cowbell. Hello, Mary J. Team Rocket will save the day. My name is James. I'm totally not gay. Christopher Walken here. Your dog took a shit. My foot <laughs> wasn't appreciated. <laughs> Yeah, I just watched, I recently watched uh, True Romance, and he's the mob boss. Oh, oh that's so great. God. I love it's, it. Uh, the scene between him and Dennis Hopper, it's like the funniest two, thing two is acting heavyweights. Did you ever like, see him when he was in Saturday Night Live and he played the, what was it, the Continental, where he's the, the suave guy, and all you see is the camera with the lady's glove, and he's trying to be smooth, but he's, he's so, just watch it. It's, oh, okay. it's I'll so bad. He, it, she keeps trying talking, to escape. We're, we're, talking 80, are we talking 80s? SNL Late 80s, 90s, early, 90s, early 90s, yeah. Back when it was funny. It's still funny, man. Some of the stuff that they, that they do. It, it, I mean, Saturday Night Live goes through stages, right? And it goes through mm -hmm. moments and certain skits, and it's just, they, yeah. It, dep it, it does also depend on the caliber of stand-ups that they're employed. Yeah. And they I go mean, through like, cycles, you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you go back to the eighties. I mean, Ackroyd, Belushi, um, God. Yeah, but then you had Dana Carvey and Mike Myers. Yeah, in the nineties. Yeah, and then you started getting uh, Adam Sandler and Chris Farley, and then you had, you know, the new cast uh, in ninety six, which was which was, uh, you know, all those guys, and then you, yeah, it's just they go through cycles. But I mean, yeah. recent stuff like Dick in a Box and. You know, like it's just so much. They're just there's certain skits that they always do that you just lose your shit over. It's like, what in the hell am I watching, man? Like the two guys, uh, Jost and the other guy doing Che doing the the news right now. They're outrageous, man. I could wa I watch every time, especially during the Christmas one where they t give each other jokes that they have to read, and Che always gives him the the racist jokes. So he's reading racist black jokes that he has to read and yeah he, last time he had like one of the uh, civil rights women from you know from the day sitting right next to him as he's reading stuff about rosa parks and stuff and it's horrible. <laughs> i was like oh my god uh yeah yeah there's still funny in the world it hasn't all been cancelled there is still some funny in the world all right uh we're gonna close shop here so i appreciate you guys Hanging out today on Jedi Academy. We're going to get out of here. Love you guys. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Salute. Nev, uh, anything you're doing today or this weekend on Swago, or are you just kind of chilling no, till GAC? I'm, I'm, I'm chilling till GAC, yeah. Chilling yeah, till know. GAC. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah, so, you know me. Check out Nev's channel on Twitch and other places. And, of course, you can check Karth out with me. with our. If you need any help on any of the guys from Zepho to Leia to the bo event to being more fishing in the raid, Go watch our videos on YouTube because I'm telling you, they'll help you out. I, it's proof's in the pudding and we, we made the pudding. So there you go. So if you want to be. Oh, the pudding. No, oh, the pudding. <laughs> I would like to end the stream today talking to you about the creamy pudding. You cannot allow Nev to be sticking his finger in the pudding pop and the thing and using filth foreign language. Oh. All right, we're getting... from filth and foreign and filth. Yeah, I know. John Stewart has been awesome. <laughs> I love John Stewart. Man. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. Love you guys. Be safe. Hit the thumbs up. All that crap, and we'll see you next one. Whenever we see you, salute. Toodles.